So I think that's an option of uh, even though it's inside a division, it just gives that little bit of like, hey, man, we care about your future rather than, um, you know, just just bringing you all the way down and letting you die with us. You know, um, I say but I, but I will say either Kansas City or. I could say back to Green Bay. But, I mean, I think that probably won't happen because I believe he favors Aaron Rodgers over any other quarterback as far as if he was going to be back in Green Bay. He would only want to do it with Aaron Rodgers. So that's kind of dead. But, yeah, Chiefs, man. That's only I can think of. Um, I mean, Cowboys. also, you think about Terrell Owens. It happened with Terrell Owens. He did come to the Cowboys. He went to the Cowboys. So I, I'm not sure if that was a trade or not or free agency, but, you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, even though they're rivals, it's like, what's best for my future at this point? And good luck trying to host C.D. Lamb and Devontae Adams. You can't double, you can't double team that many times. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, are y'all familiar with the uh, Atlanta Hawks player, A.J. Griffin? I got familiar with it before um, we started tonight. Okay. What do you think about him saying he's quitting playing basketball? Uh, he gave a basketball to follow Jesus. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, whenever something like this occurs with someone – I always have a fourth dimensional perspective and opinion, and I have a third dimensional perspective and opinion. And I watched something lately that's gotten me wanting to speak from both sides. Um, and I'll start with my third dimensional opinion. My third dimensional opinion is it would look like, I can see how it looks like a cop-out. I can see how it looks like you're choosing to not excel at the highest level, choosing to be lazy rather. But I would say that that's judgment, right? In the third dimension, I understand how someone can feel that way, but I would say, hey, that's you doing God's job. You cannot tell people what and how to do with their life and try to persuade them and so on and so forth. Um, so with my fourth dimensional answer, I say I love this because um, – this is what the world needs more of, right? And these type of things are the tough things that the soldiers in the army of the Lord have to do that the foot soldiers wouldn't really be able to do. And when I say foot soldiers, I mean the ones who just like kind of starting in their faith, right? Who who kind of giving their life to God, but ain't really got to the point where he has your whole entire life, right? When the Lord has your whole entire life, bro, I definitely understand doing something like this and I love it. And I'm not going to say I wish more people would do it. It's just, I wish more people would follow whatever ministry that they have in their heart before they follow whatever it is, whatever path that you can take that will bring you worldly riches and worldly status and all those different things that the world has to offer, right? Because this is the enemy's territory, for real. And for someone to be able to recognize that and make a decision like this on a grand scale, I say hats off to you and I commend you from the fourth dimension because I understand that nobody will understand that. But as a 3D person, having to be a regular human being, I definitely understand how somebody feel like, ah, oh, nigga, you just know you suck, right? And to each his own. How you, how you feel about it? Like, oh, do you have a pers perspective on it, Black Peace? Um, I think he just kind of sees the rat race um, in the NBA and just chooses not to uh, go along with it. Feel like he feel like he had a better path with uh, following the Lord, which um, I mean, is always a better path than most things. And um, also, I feel like it kind of shows you how the way the world can go. As much as he worked for that his whole entire life. And for him to do that, to, you know, change over to ministry, um, not saying it's like a a crazy decision. It's just like for you to 
have all that sacrifice and time and dreams to want to be in the NBA and you finally make it and for you to say, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. You know, it kind of shows you the how much it means to him to be serving the Lord. And also it kind of shows you that, you know, life isn't always, you don't always have to conform to what you thought life had to offer for you. You know, there's always a different path sometimes, you know, just, just depending on what your path is uh, giving you. So like, it's like a, like today to say more power to a man, um, you know, just, just being real. I don't see why you couldn't do both, but Hey, uh, that may be the different way he's uh, uh, attacking uh, being a servant of the Lord, which I can't, you know, everybody has their own different ways of doing it. So, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I am curious of why you can't do both. But like I said, that may be just a deeper dedication more than anything else. Like, I feel like I, I, I can praise the Lord and I can make a bucket. So, but hey, 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 way he's, you know, <laughs> defining it. Hey, I get it. I get it, but just <laughs> yeah. It's like, Thank you, Lord. I want to know too: is it the baddies? <laughs> is it the fact that you think you get caught up in the baddies and being on the road, and then all of a sudden you just so, gone and you just the devil's best heathen? Or... So I'm not. I'm not saying I believe in it, but there is a narrative out there uh, that it's alleged that he's a part of a cult and. I, I I don't remember. I seen the tweet. Uh, I just didn't go deep down the wormhole of threads where it's just like apparently there may be some paper trail um, of him being like in support of a, a particular political party or maybe like some uh, some some correlation with Candace Owens and some cult or whatever the case may be, all that Illuminati stuff. So um, if you care to go down that wormhole for our listeners, I heard that that is a possibility that may have something to do with him, um, you know, denouncing it or retiring at the age of 21 from basketball to, you know, follow uh, Christ. Um, so that's one angle to it uh, that's that's out there. Again, I'm saying I believe in it. Um, but when I seen this, bro, um, I thought about myself when I was like a kid and y'all know like how much like basketball meant to me. Uh and still does, but just at that particular time, right? Um and <clears throat> I when I got older, I would like question. I was just like, damn, bro, like, damn God, like, why you didn't let me go to the league like other people, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I did everything I was supposed to do, got up early, went to go work out, yada, 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 so on and so forth. But I know for a fact about myself that if I would have been given the opportunity to go to the NBA, the NBA would have been my God. 1,010%. I know that of myself. If if God would have allowed the cards to be so that I could go to the NBA, the NBA 1,000 would have been my God. And the scripture says, there should be no gods before me, for I, I am a jealous God. And um, and when I heard about AJ Griffin retiring, my mind instantly went there to where, you know, all your life, you know, it's been basketball, 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 basketball. And then you have this um, encounter where you're introduced to Christ and you're learning more and more about him and you're understanding that how Christ would want us to be or how he would want us to walk is pretty contradictory to like how much you give to your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, God doesn't want you worshiping idols. Idols could be anything that you're putting before God. And for some people, like that could very well much so be your job. And not just basketball specifically, but you could put your job before God, whatever that job may be. And so um, that's where my mind went when I heard him, you know, uh, heard that he was going to retire uh to you know follow christ um uh, obviously sometimes you know when god tells us to do things it don't make sense let alone to us uh but especially to the outside world you know what i'm saying 
but but yeah, man. Uh, so under the assumption that you know everything is you know clear and good and it's not wrapped up in any you know cult like Illuminati uh, minutia, um, you know salute and you know salute to dude, um, you know willing to make that sacrifice. Uh of you know just i guess dying to his old self and you know following christ a lot of people wouldn't do that a lot of people would try to negotiate the matter um but when you say retire lord like, like you mean like in 10 yeah. years <laughs> you tell a christian to go blow themselves up about some jesus <laughs> uh but yeah man yeah 